What's up guys, Duarte here with another Marvel Strike Force video and in this video we are back to talk about uh, Alliance Wars rewards and why you should save uh, your Alliance War rewards. So if you are not aware, the Alliance rewards are going to be updated very very soon and they will include some isolate will level 5. And based on some bugs that we had recently, it might te be telling us that uh, be careful, be on the lookout, maybe do not collect all your Alliance War rewards because you might get some extra value in that. So in this video, we're going to talk about all of that. And as always, if you like information on this video, make sure you share it with your friends on Facebook and Discord. If you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe for more Marvel Strike Force content and make sure to smash that like button. Okay, let's get started. Let's take a look at this. So these are the rewards that we have right now in Alliance Wars, depending on your ranking, of course. Right now, I'm on Platinum 3. And I get just a little bit of Isolate Blue level 4. Now, this is going to be updated. Scopely wants to emphasize you more to play Alliance Wars and to gear up teams for Alliance Wars. So they decided that they are going to put Isolate Blue level 5 on the Alliance Wars rewards. And this is a good thing, in my opinion. It diversifies the game modes that you have to play, which game modes are important. Well, all of the game modes now are going to be important. So get fucked, Commander. Either way, that's what is going to allow you to get the big boy Apocalypse. That is what will allow you to get more yellow stars and red stars on Apocalypse. And def that's definitely going to be important. Now, if you guys are not aware, on the most recent blog post, we have this announcement of uh, the update to the rewards. So we have uh, Alliance War Rewards update. This will not go with the new season, new mechanic of Alliance Wars. That's only for the next patch. But before that, we are already getting the updated rewards. So not only they are going to update the, the rewards on the payout, they are also going to give us a Teal Gear Orb. Now, this is not a big deal for me, because Mini Uniques is something that I have in abundance of the Gear T16 type. Most people have the same experience. They have quite a lot of the Gear T16 Mini Uniques. And if you don't, you are over-investing on characters where you don't need to invest so much. So keep that in mind. You should only invest still gear on the characters that actually matter at the end of the game. So any kind of raid characters or characters for bleeds or some ridiculous like that, or even some Alliance War characters, you don't need to gear them up to the maximum. Okay, so we have right here Teal Gear Orb. We're gonna get the Gear T16s in the center. In the center. So on the sides, we'll probably get some Origin Gear and some other catalysts that are not important. It will cost 2000, which is not a lot. The one we had previously, it was 1500, if I remember correctly. So that's a good thing. Alliance War slots are also going to be added. We have three more slots. For Teal Gear, we have one for Catalysts. This is very important. Make sure, guys, please, make sure you start farming your Miasmas. Make sure you farm your Astral Energies. You are going to require all of these for Dark Dimension 6. I'm preparing for Dark Dimension 6 for already one month. Are you guys doing the same? After, don't tell me that, oh, I'm so behind. No, start right now. Focus on Dark Dimension 6. Okay, so one slot for the Centerpiece Catalysts. Then we have a Mixed Gear, and then we have Teal Uniques. Hopefully it will be Gear T17. Probably not. Probably not. Probably it's going to be Gear T16, but whatever. Okay, then Victory and Defeat Rewards. This is what matters. Depending on your league, of course, you are going to see a big update in terms of rewards. Not only the Gold, but also Isolate Blue, Blue Level 4, and Blue Level 5. So if you think that Alliance Wars is not important, then you also think that uh, the Big Apocalypse is not important. And you have not seen what I have seen. I have seen some Big Apocalypse out there with some types of isolates going completely insane, pretty much unkillable. Okay, so why am I telling you, based on this information that we have right here, why am I telling you to save your Alliance War uh, rewards? The reason why I'm telling you to save your Alliance Wars rewards, and I'm going to show you, I'm saving mine as well. After this bombshell, I'm saving mine as well. So, we are aware now that any kind of rewards updated, they will be retroactive uh, increased. Retroactive increased. So, this happened with the Cosmic Crucible rewards, with Silver Surfer, which I paid money for this shit, and... Uh, 
Now everyone got it for free. I didn't even got one week. Well, I didn't even got one day. I didn't even got one day with this character. Uh, make worth of my money. And uh, I told community manager Archangel, like, the bare minimum, you should give like one or two red stars for this character, for the people that bought it. Because this is absolutely unfair uh, uh, situation where people are going to get this guy for free and uh, other people have to pay for it. So if you are concerned about uh, the your customers leaving, your uh, paying players, well, congratulations, you are doing an amazing job. But there we go. So as you can see, the rewards are retroactive and that means next week when the Alliance Wars rewards will be updated, then your Isoweight Blue level 4 will be increased, your Gold will be increased, and maybe even you'll get Isoweight Blue level 5 out of your new Alliance War rewards. So, based on this retroactive situation, maybe a bug, maybe not, maybe intentional, maybe it's just how the game works, I would highly, highly suggest you to start saving your Alliance War rewards. You can see right there, Alliance War rewards, Today I have another Alliance Wars which I'm gonna save and I'm gonna get MVP once again of course. I cannot get MVP anymore. I already has 69 MVPs. Going below, going above 69 MVPs is gonna be very bad luck so maybe I'm gonna avoid that. But yeah guys that's gonna be the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Save, please save your, save your Alliance War rewards and uh, hopefully these retroactive uh, improvements will be coming up to your mailbox soon and then you'll be one or two or even three step closer of getting the big boy apocalypse so that's going to be the video guys i hope you guys enjoyed it. if you did make sure you smash that like button and if you found the video helpful make sure you share it with your friends on facebook and discord if you're new to my channel make sure you subscribe for more marvel strike force content and i will catch you guys later